you for or against voter ID? Oh, well, naturally I'm for it because it's the law, and that's what we do. We follow the law and, uh, to a T, and, uh, and the Secretary of State's uh, Election Administrator's Handbook says it is required. Uh, for years and years and years, we did not have voter ID. I question whether we really needed it or not, but now that we have it, it's, it's uh, easy and simple. Actually, it gets the line going faster through the, uh, at the uh, election precinct, voting precinct. Uh, you can scan that voter ID and your name pops up and it says, yep, that's my name, that's my address, and you get to move on down the line. So uh, it's not difficult. Uh, I wasn't terribly nuts about it when they implemented it because I didn't think it was really needed. We didn't have it for years and years and years. But uh, it's, but like Mary Ann said, it's safe and secure and it adds another layer of security to our uh, uh, voting system. Uh, <clears throat> when I was in the Iowa legislature, we used to have legislative coffees every two weeks uh, when the session was going on. And I remember, and when I first came in, the Democrats control the Iowa Senate. And so uh, on certain bills, it was very difficult to get things passed into law because we had Republicans in the House and Democrats in the Senate. I used to hold up at those uh, legislative coffees a list of things that you have to show an ID for that we have no problem with. Go to the doctor, rent a car, fly on a plane, fly on a train, and it goes on and on and on. And people are extremely comfortable doing that. Uh, it never made sense to me that there was all the squawking and the talk of voter suppression with voter ID. So I have long been a supporter of voter ID. I think it absolutely makes sense when you are doing something that our veterans fought and died for, which is to cast your vote, that you need to show an ID and you need to uh, prove that you are who you are to keep our elections safe and secure.